Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have discussed about that methods. So now in this video, I want to discuss about the data binding. For the reasons better, I want to do, I want to create another file, click on the save as, and I just name it as a class, class3.html, sorry, I just define the 3.html. And now I just simply save it. So right now I just copy all the things from our class2. I just copy it and he not three, I just simply paste it perfect okay so right now we don't need this i just simply remove it and here that is our method so i also don't need this method so better i just simply define that method uh, that is our method i just simply remove it okay i just simply remove it and also in our title here i define as a js uh, data binding okay i just simply define as a js data binding perfect so into the data binding, if you want to use it like in our data property, into the data property, if you define some of the um, things in particular that area, that is actually all that is static data, right? So that is all that is static data. So if you want to make that things dynamic, then how can do that three things with using the data binding? I will show you that things with a live example. Like for now, in our data here, I define one of the ideas as address. Okay, I just simply define one of the address into this address area. Like if you want to put some of the address link, like I just copy it. Okay, I just copy it and here I define one of the link. So that is our link. So when this link will be updated automatically, this will be updated also in our that area. So if you want to make that things dynamic, then you can use it with using that data binding. Like here, if you now display one of the link, I just define on the a head if into the a head if area like before. I just define that print it okay like i just print it that address like i just simply define that address and here i define that view js okay i just define that link as a view js so now what exactly it should be do like here i put that address and here some of the string data so it should be visible right but it should be not working like if you click on the save all and now if you go here and now i just open our class 3 so that is our class 3 i just open it i just open it okay now you can see i just define one of the link as a view js so now if you click on here now you can see it's not detected to our this url so here i have already put some of the url so now it's not defining that url okay but if you go back and if you open with your impact element and into the impact element here you can see it's now showing that link as a this address that means here they have no links that means this data that means this string data is not getting that things on here so here if you want to make that things dynamic then you have to do in our hairy area here you have to define one of the view js one of the code as a view that means a v for the view and then bind so i just simply define as a view bind and the clone okay so here i just define as a view bind and the clone head if and into this head if area you have to define your that address that means whatever the address you want to show it so and here we don't need to use it so i just simply remove two of these so i just simply define that address on here so now let's check this out what exactly it's happened like i just click on the save all and now if you go here and now if you refresh it yes now you can see in particular that position is getting that our head if you can see that is actually the head if you now getting and if you click on here it should be rejected to our vhs org file so that is the link i just put on particular that position so now you can see it's now perfectly getting that with the v and then our bind into the view bind that is our head if so if you want to put that dynamic some of the data in particular that area then you have to use it with this view bind and also here, if you want to put some of the class, like every time in our if we get any dev, then into the dev we define some of the class, right? So if you want to also make that your class a dynamic way, then you can also do that work. Like in our body, like some of the time in HTML or the Bootstrap, we some we use some of the classes as a row class or the container class, right? So also if you want to make that class as a dynamic, then you can also do the things with using that data binding. I show you like here, I want to take another one. So you have to define that with a comma and I just take another one as a classes. Okay, I just define that one of the another one as a classes and here I define one of the array. So if you want to define that array, like I just define array as a one and also I define another one as a two. Okay, I just define as a two on particular that position. 
and here if you want to display some of the class like i just put some of the class as a h1 tag okay, i just define on the h1 tag into the h1 tag i define some of the name as easy learning i define the easy learning and here i define on the class okay i just define on the class so in bootstrap i define some of the row class right so this type of one of the class but right now i want to do i want to make that class as a dynamic so for the reasons in our data property i define one of the id as a classes so now i want to use it so if you want to use it so i just simply added that class in particular that position okay so right now if you click on the save all like i just click on the save all and now if you refresh it and now you can see they have the showing as a class as a classes but into the classes i define some of the id like you can see that i just define one of the array as a one and the two so it should be visible in particular that area right so if you want to use it then here you have to define with this data binding so you can use that as a v blind with this okay rather than you can also only use that clone so here if you only want to use that clone then you can also do that work like i just define as a clone our classes i just define that name as a classes in particular that position right now they have the two these two should be visible on here okay so because here i just binding it so now if you click on the save all and now if you refresh it like here i just refresh it yes now you can see now our class is updated there is a one and the two I think it's very much clear to you. So now they have the two class. You can use it like I show you. I just define with the two array as a one and the two. So now better in our head. That means into this head position. Uh, here I define on this style. Okay, that is I just define on this style. So here I just simply define that style into the style. I define one of the ID as a one and also i define another one like there is a one id and also i take another one so as a maybe two right so there is actually another one two so i just simply define another one i just simply added the two so for the one here first of all i define the color i define the color as orange okay i just define that as a orange so our text color will be as orange and also better i defining it okay there is a one class and also there is a two so here i also want to define another one as a text i just define the text decoration as a line throw okay i just define as a line and the throw so here i define the two class so that is one is the our color will be orange and also i define the text decoration as a line throw so now let's check this out if you click on the save all and now if you refresh it yes you can see they have the two classes perfectly work so that is our one is the color changing the color and the, for the two i just define our line so here i define the line throw so for the reasons here you can see our two class is perfectly working in particular that position so friend i think it's very much clear to you so if you want to use that v blind then you can use it rather than you can only use that clone so with this clone you can also define your data binding in particular that area and also if you want to put some of the dynamic value in your input field area like here i show you i just define on the input field you can also do that work i just define the type will be as a text type and here i define some of the value okay i just simply define that value and i just value up with some of the name so here better i want to do i want to define another one so here i take another as a name and now here i define that name here i just pass some of the string data as a kazi aryan okay so this type of one of the string data i just passed in particular that position and now if you want to put that name that means this name in your value area then you can also binding it okay like here i just simply define that v binding so into this value area i have to define that v bind and then clone our value and our value i want to make that things dynamic here i just simply pass our this name i just simply pass it okay so that should be enough like if you click on the save all and now if you refresh it yeah you can see it's now perfectly getting our dynamic data that is our casiarian so friend i think it's very much clear to you how our data binding that means that that is actually the one step data binding so they have the another step as a two step so i will show you that things later so right now our data binding if you want to display the data binding function then you have to use it
So as I told you before, just take that all function, how that things exactly work in fundamental series, because we will use it in our project. Okay, so we will use that data binding in our project, we will use our elements, we will use that data property and everything we will create and we will create one complete inventory management system with Vue.js and Laravel. Okay, so then it will be very much interactive friend. I think and data binding you have a little bit idea about that how the data binding you have to display. So here I just simply define that part. So you know next video I will discuss about events. So how can create the events in Vue.js. In our next video I will show you that things with the live example. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.